Hi, I'm Geoffrey Pochewide. I'm the Associate Editor of The Ophthalmologist. And it's my pleasure to be here today with Dr. Robert Ang. Uh, Robert's going to be talking about the laser scleral microoperation by Ace Vision. Um, so just to get started, could you tell me a bit about yourself and the kind of patients that you normally see? Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Ang. I work in the Philippines at the Asian Eye Institute. And my specialty is on refractive surgery uh, treating patients who don't want glasses anymore. I also do cataract surgery and glaucoma procedures. That's great. So what would you say is the best patient population you see for LSM? Our procedure is called laser scleral microoperation. And the best patients for this procedure, which we fondly call LSM, is the emetropic press biopes, meaning that we want patients who are seeing very well for distance, but are having problems seeing small print, reading their cell phone and all of that. So they, they should be seeing very well for far and they're here for us to help them see small print or see near objects. The manifest refraction of the patients which we recruit for the study is between 0.5 diopters to minus 0.5 diopters spherical equivalent. So they're really near emetrope. And these patients can be natural emetropes, meaning they never had glasses all their life. And then when they reach 40 years old and above, they started having difficulty with near. When they reach 45 to 50, they're obligated to use reading glasses all the time for almost all near tasks. But there's also an additional population of patients whom we did LASIK on many years ago. So I have many, many patients 20 years ago, 15 years ago, who had LASIK, were very happy with their distance vision. And then they come back 15, 20 years later because they've grown older and now they need reading glasses. So they are coming back to me because they want to continue a life of no glasses. So LSM is a potential procedure for these patients. So is emetropic presbyopia a particular market which isn't being addressed at the moment? So I have a, a refractive clinic and a huge refractive base. So as like all ophthalmologists or surgeons, uh, any type of patients can walk into the door. And most of the patients that come want you to solve something of a problem to them. So the above 40 age group, many of them will have glasses for distance, need for distance. And if they're nearsighted, they remove the glasses and they read near. So uh, these patients have refractive error and presbyopia. But there is uh, also a huge segment of the patients that come not needing glasses for distance. They drive well, they play golf, they do sports, but when they need to write the score of their golf game, they need reading glasses for that. Or when they phone rings, they need reading glasses for that. And they're very irritated about this, this condition because it gets worse with age. So when they're 40, they don't mind. When they're 45, they mind. When they're 50, they're angry. So, so these, these patients uh, come and they typically are part of anybody's uh, refractive practice. As of now, we have uh, ICL or presbyopic LASIK to address those that need distance correction as well. But for patients who are pure emetropic presbyopes, meaning just the near is the problem, there's rarely any uh, solution that will not entail some sacrifice. So you can do monovision, wherein you sacrifice the far vision of the non-dominant eye and give them near, but you lost far vision in that eye. So um, the other solution is the eye drop. So there, there is now a trend of uh, prescribing these eye drops that make the pupil smaller 
so that they see better near. But feedback from patients is, number one, it doesn't work equally on everybody. Number two, there are patients who complain of headaches. And number three, sometimes the pupil is too small that they cannot function or drive. So LSM is different from all of that. LSM, we don't change the refractive error. We don't touch the visual axis and we don't alter the pupil size. What we just do is we, we help your eye gain 10 years of functioning back. So if they're 50, we want you to function like a 40-year-old, wherein you gain some of the, the range of vision, which is important for you to do your normal daily life. So this is something that LSM offers without sacrificing far vision. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. So could you just talk us through the actual procedure in terms of its ease and safety and how, how quick you really got to grips with it? So the LSM procedure, uh, we have a generation one laser, which is a handheld laser now of uh, using an erbium yag uh, mechanism of laser. The, we are working on a generation two laser, which is a hands-free hands -free automated laser system. But the one I'm using now, the, the generation one LSM laser, we prep the patient by sterilizing the usual preparation. We just put anesthetic. We make sure the, the limbal vessels are constricted. And then we use this handheld laser and we position it on four quadrants of the sclera uh, aligned to the limbus. So superonasal, supertemporal, infernasal, infertemporal. And each quadrant takes like less than 30 seconds of treatment. So we, we, we put the laser over the sclera. We fire 30 seconds, move on to the next, uh, next quadrant and the next and the next. And basically, in 10 minutes or less, we're done with each eye. The patients do not feel anything. Topical anesthesia is enough. Uh, it's a transconjunctival laser procedure, meaning we don't dissect the conjunctiva. Unlike other treatments, we just fire through the conjunctiva into the sclera. So it's a really simple, painless procedure. And in less than half hour, a patient is done. Very comfortable. And then they go home. Usually, the main observation of the patient is they have a little bit of redness because, of course, sometimes the laser hits some of the blood vessels and they have a little bit of subconjunctival hemorrhage. But that goes away in about two weeks. There is some redness from inflammation from the laser reaction, but we have eye drops to address that. There is no pain after surgery, only a scratchy feeling because of the conjunct transconjunctival firing of the laser. But the next day, they feel comfortable. And when they go home, their far vision is the same. They didn't, we didn't change that. So what we do is we wait for the next few days for their near vision to jumpstart and uh, get better. So what kind of value does LSM add to you and your patients? For me, the value of LSM is I complete my portfolio of breast biopic treatments. I have breast biopic LASIK, I have intraocular lenses, but I don't have a treatment for emetropic breast biopics except reading glasses or progressive glasses. Now I have a procedure to offer the natural emetropic breast biopics and most especially my post-LASIK patients who are coming back slowly now, 10, 15, 20 years after the original LASIK. For the patients, um, it is something to look forward to that when they age, they have a procedure which can slow down or rejuvenate their accommodation uh, mechanism, slow down their aging, slow down their press myopia. We cannot stop it because of aging, but we can gradually slow it down or move it back a few years so that they gain back some of the near vision functionality that they want. We want them to enjoy activities of daily living 
without reading glasses. Of course, for intensive small print, they may still need some once in a while, but for uh, cell phone, leisure, office activities, then the LSM is something uh, for them to look forward to as a procedure and they don't lose distance vision. So I cannot emphasize that enough. They gain something and they don't lose anything. It's very rare to have a procedure where I can say that to a patient. You gain something, but you don't lose far vision. And LSM is this procedure. Thank you so much, Dr. Ang. Um, it's been so great talking to you about LSM by Ace Vision. Um, it's been really informative and I can't wait to hear more about it in the future. Thank you. Thank you for having me and allowing me to share my experience with the laser scleral microoperation or LSM procedure.